Hey, what's going on everybody? Anush Kashefi here and in this video I just wanted to review one of the things that I'm doing or a couple of things that I'm doing in my business, uh, my Amazon dropshipping business to generate thousands of dollars additional net income right in my pocket um, profit every single month okay and there's a couple tricks that we're gonna talk about and they're very easy to implement into your dropshipping business if you're not already doing it okay so stick around and we will get right into it alright so first things first we are over at a site called beefrugal.com okay and beefrugal is a way to absolutely skyrocket profits every single month as you can see um, you know some orders coming in here on the 6th how does it work? Okay, so Beefrugal is a third-party site that allows you to go to their site and you can find potential percentages back from the sites that you typically purchase from. Okay, so uh, Beefrugal, you can come up here and say, let's go up here and say Walmart and type that in, all right? And what you can see is that at this point, Walmart is offering 3%. Okay, it's a little bit low, to be honest. Uh, typically, they offer, you know, 6%, 7%. Um, so it really, really can add up. And uh, this is just one of our suppliers, right? And so... A lot of our suppliers will use cash back. So you can come over here and just type in whatever website you want to get cash back on and see what's being offered. And all you have to do to get the cash back, it's so simple. Um, it, it just wouldn't make any sense to not do it this way. You click the button and it will take you right to cash um, Overstock's website. Okay. So at this point, this special little URL up here, this is a special link, whatever you want to call it, is tracking whatever uh, you purchase on this specific page, okay? So if you go ahead and you purchase this 279 bedroom set or whatever it is that you purchase, you're gonna get 4% of that back. Now, it's not gonna come back in the way of, um, you know, onto your credit card or anything like that. What happens is it's gonna go right into your be frugal account, okay? And that's what you guys saw when I uh, clicked into my account here, showing you behind the scenes of my business, what's going on, um, and you can see that there's, you know, over $3,000, this was money that would have gone to the supplier, it would have gone to some third party, it would have gone to somebody else, but in this case, it comes right back to my pocket, okay? So instead of spending, in, in this case, over at Overstock, we're getting 4%, right? So instead of going to Overstock and spending 100% of your money at Overstock, you're going to spend 96% and you're going to get the same exact product from the same exact supplier. It makes no sense to purchase anywhere else. Now, some people, you know, when I started, I didn't even see that. It's not just some people. I, when I started, didn't see the power of little 1%. You know, if you type in eBay, you're going to find that, hey, they're not really offering huge percentages. But the, the point is not how much percentage you're getting back. It's that it's free money, right? If you're not using this, you're ripping yourself off and leaving money on the table, even in your personal life. What I like to do is use this for personal life. Um, so, for example, you can come over here and type in Expedia. I love, love, love to travel the world. Last year, um, as my business was running on autopilot, I went to like six different countries, um, like two cruises. So that is the power of this tool. Every single time I did it, I got cash back up to 12%, which is not insignificant, guys. If you do a cruise, oh, sorry about that, I didn't mean to click there. Um, it says up to 12%. What that means is you're not gonna get 12% on every single purchase, but you can get per, uh, percentages back on different uh, different purchases. So uh, where is it, cash back terms, here you go. So it pops up, you say cash back terms, and they'll tell you what you can get 12% on, and that is concluded Expedia cruise. Okay, so you get 12% of your um, cruise purchase back, right here all you had to do was click go to Expedia click shop now and it'll take you right to Expedia's website where you can purchase directly as usual with the same offers now I do suggest um, that let's say you're running your drop shipping business here's a tip for you uh, I lost thousands of dollars when I started doing cashback by not doing it properly okay so if you are placing let's say 10 orders from Walmart okay you're gonna come in here you're gonna say walmart.com and here we go, we got 3%, that's awesome. Now you're gonna to wanna to click Shop Now, okay? And it's gonna take you right to Walmart, as you well know now. But the, the point is, if you have 10 purchases on Walmart and you just try to make every purchase through this specific link here, that's not gonna work, okay? Um, what you need to do is actually click every single time from your cashback website. And this is not obviously the only cashback website. There's many of them. Top Cashback. Um, I'll leave some links for you guys below. Top Cashback, Be Frugal, You Promise. Those are my top three. Those are the ones that I've made thousands of dollars with, as you saw. Um, this is just money that goes right to our supplier when we can get it right back to ourselves. Okay, so very, very cool stuff here. Um, just make a purchase as usual. As And again, make sure if you're going to purchase multiple items in different orders that you just go back 
to your cashback site and make sure that you're uh, you're clicking it each and every time because I didn't do that and let me tell you what I, I didn't realize that they weren't tracking the orders after I had initially clicked and opened the first page right so I placed 10 orders at this point and they wouldn't track the other nine or you know most of the other orders um, so I found that by clicking the link each and every time that it will track and so, man, um, so that's a huge tip for you guys. When you start doing cashback, don't lose out on these huge percentages, guys. Um, make sure you click it each time. So I won't cover that again. I've said it like a million times. Sorry, guys. But uh, the next thing up is another cashback alt uh, option, okay? And you don't have to do all of them, but if you imagine if we have cashback from overstock at 4%, right? And then we get come over here and we get a cashback card, okay, credit card. Um, if you don't have great credit, not a, not a big deal. This is not a requirement. When I started, I didn't have great, you know, great credit. I didn't have a cashback card. So, you know, we just make it work. You don't have to make this an obstacle like, oh, I can't, I can't do it now. I can't do drop shipping because the other guys have percentages of cashback. No, screw that. Take action, get results, and then start building on that, okay? And this is what I, I suggest. Come check out cashback cards that are potentially um, eligible for you um, to build your business on, right? So, you know, there's tons of them. There's tons of them. Uh, what you want to look for is like 2% is like I think the best right now. And I personally like cash. <laughs> I like to have the cash rather than travel rewards because I find that, you know, there's all these stipulations and things with rewards. If you don't use them in time, I just don't like to play that game. I just want the cash and I want to be able to take that cash and put it into my business or my personal life. Whatever the hell I want to do with it, it's mine, right? So <laughs> that's what uh, that's what I like. If you like to travel the world and you want to put in on miles card no problem it doesn't matter but hey this can really add up and let's do a little bit of math here guys let me pull up my calculator because last month alone we did about let's say hundred seventy five thousand dollars in sales that's gross sales you know if Amazon's fees comes out of that there's a lot of things that come out of that but you know how much did we spend on the products um, to purchase and get them shipped to our customers um, let's just go ahead and <laughs> for math purposes let's do a hundred thousand okay let's just say I spent a hundred thousand dollars okay on product and if we go ahead and forget about any anything else let's just talk about the credit card right now if we just go ahead and get a two percent card okay we spent a hundred thousand we're gonna get two percent here and we're talking about two thousand dollars additional profit all I had to do instead of swiping my debit card I swiped a credit card that gives me cash back and this will come right back onto my card I can put it right into my business I can transfer it to my bank account I can do whatever the heck I want with it right it's my money um, and it's free all I had to do was swipe that card um, so that's an additional two thousand dollars now you could get crazy about it and start talking you know if you if you're overstock or Walmart was your main supplier and you got three percent here you have another two percent here we're talking about five percent and on top of that, there are other avenues that we can use to increase those margins. Now, this third option, this is um, gift cards, okay? And this one, I'll tell you honestly, I have never um, been too much into the gift cards because I find that it, be it becomes very much time consuming to track and um, to keep up on. Um, so eventually I think I may train my team to, to start doing this stuff and keep track of it all but at this point um, I'm losing out on these percentages where other people are, are gaining these massive percentage uh, percentages now the thing about these gift cards you come on here you'll purchase a gift card and they'll give you let's say 1% or 5.9% if you buy Sears so each person um, each place is different now what I found the reason why I haven't done too much more in these gift cards because look uh, the value you're getting here is ten dollars the value you're getting here is forty dollars when I'm running a hundred thousand dollar store six-figure store uh, to come in here and buy a little fifty dollar gift cards or fifty dollar it just uh, to me it doesn't make sense but when you're really when you're starting out this is a really powerful way to you know make additional income okay some of these they don't even give you percentages I don't know why you would buy here um, and this one's just one percent, but as we as we go back, you know, we talked about three percent here, two percent here, and additional one percent. This really can add up and make you thousands of dollars more every month. Okay, so um, don't don't kind of like look away from it because it's only one percent. Um, I will say that when I did the gift cards, when I was doing it myself, what I found is it does take a little bit more time, um, but you are protected if the as you can see one year money back guarantee let's say you go ahead and buy the gift card from raise and uh, there's no money on the card 
they're very good about getting you your money back. So that's not a problem. Um, it just takes up time that when I was running the business myself that I didn't really want to waste. Um, so one time I bought a card and the money wasn't on it. I had to get on the live chat and they helped me extremely fast. It's just um, another hiccup and then you have to look for the refund, make sure you got the money. It became a little bit too much of a hassle. So for me, the gift card um, is a lesser option, if you will, but I really, uh, I don't run my business without the external cash back, as I call it, from these third party sites and my cashback card okay so be sure that you're using these guys if uh, let's go back to the calculator here let's say on a, uh, on a two hundred thousand dollar store you're spending a hundred twenty thousand dollars and let's just let's just round it off it and say we're getting a nice four percent on that okay so we're talking about an additional five thousand dollars a month all we had to do was purchase and click a couple links, purchase with a special credit card. And that's it, okay? And so even on a smaller store, let's go ahead and say that you have a store and you're, you're spending, um, for math purposes, $5,000 a month, okay? So we spend $5,000, and on that $5,000, let's just say we get 5% back. That's gonna be 250 bucks that we're gonna get right back into our pocket. Um, we can put it towards our business next month with some grow faster and scale up. Uh, we can put it towards personal life if we wanna go and like party with it or just go on a trip or something. Whatever the heck you wanna do with it, okay? So be sure to tap into the power of cash back. There is other alternatives too. If you're doing FBA or if you're doing um, uh, Shopify and you're doing like AliExpress, let's say. AliExpress, I know they have an affiliate offer. So if you purchase through your link, you can make more money, right? So these are all avenues, guys, that we need to stack, 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 so that we can make that money. Imagine it's like Shark Tank, right? You, they don't want to give up these percentages of their business. Um, they want to keep those percentages for themselves. And this is the same exact thing. Just because you're not building a billion dollar business doesn't mean that you shouldn't be worried just as much about those smaller percentages, okay? So try to stack, 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 get as many of these opportunities going for you and just watch your bank account explode. It's absolutely insane, guys. So I hope you enjoy the power of this. Uh, go sign up to Be Frugal. I'll have some links below, guys, to my top cashback sites, as I mentioned, was Be Frugal, You Promise, and Top Cashback. Why they're my favorite is because they actually do pay out, right? Uh, that's important. You don't want to go through some like uh, bad cashback site that just takes your money and they don't track every all your orders or all that stuff. Okay, so those are the three I'll recommend. I'll put links below. Um, as far as the card, what do I suggest for you? Um, you know, there is the capital. I think it's Spark Business, two percent. There was a You Promise card. I don't think that's available anymore, but You Promise 5% card. I, I used to uh, tell my students to, to get this card because imagine, it has to be online purchases. Keep that in mind, guys. But it used to be 5% on online purchases from your, uh, from your card. So let me see. I'm not going to look it up, guys, but go check that out. I don't know if they have it or if they discontinued that, but that used to be available. Imagine 5%, and then you stack it with all these other options. You can you can imagine you'd be doing like $10,000 in additional profit in your pocket on like a $100,000 store, right, or, you know, six-figure store. So get out there and start stacking up these profit engines and, um, you know, skyrocket your business, guys. And if you need some help, be sure to... You know, leave a comment below because I'm trying to create some awesome videos for you guys. What kind of information are you looking for? Um, what kind of tips and tricks do you need to build an awesome dropshipping business, e-commerce business that works for you? Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe to this channel because there's going to be more comment uh, content just like this. All right. Thank you guys very much for checking this out. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next video.